Hello students, welcome to today's session of daily chemistry dose. So what is stored in today's dose? A important question based on chemical bonding that to belonging to bent rule. Let us start this question. Read this question which is coming in front of you by pausing this video and try to figure out the answer. So I hope you people have tried this question and in this particular question you are being asked to predict the incorrectly written statement among the four options. So now let us discuss each option in detail and just see which option is incorrectly written. So of you who are joining me first time through this interface, I would uh, ensure one thing that by the end of this particular session you are able to get hold of almost four or five more relevant related topics to this particular question. So stay with me while I complete this discussion. So first was N2H4 is to be the bond length of nitrogen nitrogen is to be compared with this particular compound. This is basically is called as hydrazine and this is fluorinated hydrogen. Now first what you have to do is you have to just make a Lewis dot structure because we know for sure Wherever you have any bonding related to nitrogen, nitrogen either would bond with three single bonds, one, double, one single and this way. And in all of these bondings, you should also be knowing that it would be going to retain the lone pair. And if in case it tend to make four bonds like this with someone, then this nitrogen would definitely would have a positive charge on it. So here uh, N2H4 you have to draw so we shall be drawing it like this. So this matches with this structure and it would have one lone pair on both of side. And similarly on fluorine also you can go with the same structure. So this is the viewpoint which you have to consider. Now considering this viewpoint what you are able to predict here is that around this nitrogen because this is the first aspect where you are able to see that this is having one lone pair and these are three sigma bonds. Those who are from 10th or 11th class which actually have not have seen that aspect of sigma and pi whenever you have single line shown like this this would be said as sigma and when there are two lines out of this one is sigma another is pi. And here you have 2 pi and 1 sigma. So this is the best way to begin with. But uh, since uh, most of you are preparing for the competition, you are well equipped with this viewpoint that around this nitrogen, there are 3 sigma bonds and 1 lone pair. Now, to go for the details of this question to predict what, how to predict the length of nitrogen nitrogen, you have to go into the next aspect of this discussion where we have to engage geometry around the nitrogen along with the hybridization. So if I talk of the geometry, it would be pyramidal or rather I would say geometry is tetrahedral but the shape is pyramidal. So this is the structure which would be and same structure you would see for this one also like this and here also you have a lone pair. Now if I talk of its hybridization, I don't know how you people find the hybridization but if we just want to do it in a very hurry very method or in a very speedy way so you simply have to write s and 3p orbital this is one of the easiest of all method with some uh, limitations but uh, most of the time you end up getting answered by this way so you have to just find out the hybridization what you have to do is count number of sigma bonds number of sigma bonds plus lone pairs around central atom around central atom central atom ignore pi bonds ignore pi bonds which i have just shown that wherever you have a double bond there is one sigma one pi this bond has to be ignored and if you have a triple bond there is uh, uh, one sigma and two pi bonds these pi bonds are to be ignored so what simply do i mean by it let me explain it in detail so this is this uh, simplest way to find the hybridization. Now see on this nitrogen you have this sigma, this sigma, and this sigma and there is one lone pair also. So in totality how many uh, count the sigma bonds 3 and 1 lone pair. So answer would be 4. So once you get the 4 just pick first 4 orbitals. So the hybridization would be sp3. As a matter of fact 
if in some other case say for example you are having four sigma bonds and one lone pairs so the total number of h would be five then you have to pick first five orbitals and the hybridization would come out to be sp3d this is the one of the simplest of all way where you would not be ensuring the fact that whether you know the valence bond theory or not simply by lewis dot structure you are able to predict the hybridization only you have to ignore the pi bonds only you have to count the sigma bonds because sigma bonds are formed first then the pi so sigma bond gives shape to the molecule and would be used in the hybridization now see here now once you happen to see the hybridization this is sp3 this also is sp3 this also is sp3 and this also is sp3 now had these hybridization of the comparing elements or comparing bonds would have been different then we would have addressed the answer through the hybridization just just see if if in case this sort of a situation had been there somewhere say for example you have to be you are comparing sp sp with sp2 sp2 or sp3 sp3 some some sort of this sort of a situation is there let's say if the bond length has to be or bond length has to be compared between uh, c triple bond c c double bond ethylene or with ethane so here in this case what you simply would see because the hybridizations are different in this case the s character is less and p character is more but here if you talk of s character is almost equal as compared to the p character or i would say here in this case the s s character is 25 percent and p character is 75 percent so where here would be 50 50 percent so more is the s character more is the s character stronger is the bond or shorter is the bond this also is to be kept in mind more would be the p character more is the p character longer is the orbital so if i talk of this so in this case this orbital would be this way i may say this is spsp which compared to vis-a-vis -vis, this would be sp3 it has become little more longer and since it has become more longer the overlap would be lesser here the overlap would be more so if i talk of bond length this bond length would be bigger and if i talk of bond dissociation energy it would be having the reverse order so here we have taken a call on the basis of the hybridization so i think there is option also for this particular viewpoint let me check this out yes it is there so if you have been given carbon carbon bond energy of estylene or ethyne versus ethane so here what you are able to see the bond energy of ethyne is greater than that of ethane so this statement in itself is a correct one because uh, there are two ways to address it one is simply because of the fact that this is this is what you call it as spsp and this is sp3 sp3 so it is longer sp3 sp3 compared to sp or other way around if you simply would see in sp sp there are three bonds which is between the carbon carbon obviously it would require more energy for breaking three bonds rather than one single bond so this is being addressed now in the a option the problem with problem with which we are stuck with that the hybridizations are same so here what you are seeing is the hybridization of this nitrogen this nitrogen this nitrogen this nitrogen the hybridizations are same so when you are uh, get got stuck in this sort of a situation where hybridization is not with the viewpoint of hybridization we are not able to take a call then the bent rule would assist us help us to take the answer which would match with the experimental result also now what exactly is bent rule seeing the length and breadth of this rule itself it's a very detailed topic but here i am keeping myself uh, explaining bent rule in regard to this particular question only because otherwise it would take good amount of time so what exactly bent rule says one way of saying it that more electronegative atom tend to or rather i would say more electronegative atom not only not only prefer to stay in to stay in more uh, to stay in orbital with more p character 
so the atom more electronegative atom always would prefer to stay in a orbital which would have more p character and along with that not only it would prefer this thing but also can increase this is very important also can increase also can increase p character in its hybrid orbital in its hybrid hybrid orbital through which it is attached to central atom through which it is attached to central atom this is very interesting now let me explain it what what do what do i mean by it so if i say that this is what you call it as hydrazine versus the comparing molecule of nf3 so if i compare one of the situation here just hold on now see here now if i draw this 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 all the four hybrid orbital which i have shown with white color are are sp3 hybrid orbitals these are sp3 hybrid orbital what this bent rule says the hat visa vis i am comparing it with the hydrazine i am comparing it with hydrazine so what it says that only difference is the fluorine got attached here and fluorine being more electronegative element what it would do it would the one which i am showing with the orange color it would increase although this is sp3 orbital it would tend to increase p character in it as a consequence s character tend to get decrease in this sp3 orbital this is the beauty of this rule what it says that more electronegative element tend to increase the p character in a orbital with which it is attached through the hybrid orbital with which it is attached to the central atom as a consequence what you would see in this case because it is not attached to the electronegative element this sp3 orbital here what would happen the s character tend to oh sorry p character tend to in decrease and s character tend to increase so the the we may say it like this 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 white hybrid orbital sp3 hybrid orbital versus this orange one we shall be saying that this hybrid orbitals are not totally identical the one which is joining with the nitrogen itself is having more of a s character within vis-a-vis the one which is combi uh, combining with the fluorine the one which is combining with the fluorine would have more p character and less s character versus the one which is joining with the nitrogen would have more of a s character and less of a p character as a consequence we shall be saying that since it has more of a s character this has more of a s character so its bond length would be shorter would be shorter and with whom we are comparing it with this bond if i talk of these these hybrid orbitals are almost identical type because these are not attached with any electronegative element so these are almost same in in all respect almost same but here the there is the similarity is not that way so we shall be saying that the bond length nitrogen nitrogen bond length in n2h4 would be greater compared to n2f4 this is what the bent rule suggest us where hybridization with the help of hybridization we are not able to take a call here would be the answer so this is a correct statement now if i go for the next option that is the cc bond length in ethane is longer than that uh, c2f6 here also you would have the same view point because if you happen to draw the ethane ethane is this structure versus the hexafluoroethane so hexafluoroethane would have same view point here also what you are able to see that the high because this also is sp3 this also is sp3 this also is sp3 and sp3 so what you are able to see this this orbitals which i am showing it with orange orange although these are sp3 but this would have predominant more of a p or greater p character compared to the s compared to the one which i am showing it with the uh, white marker so the one which i am showing with the white marker or let me draw it once again 
the one which I am showing with the white marker, here you would see that it would have lesser of P and greater of S character, even though both are SP3. So this would this bond would be shorter. So we will we will be saying if I talk of bond length, CC bond length here, C2H6 would be longer compared to C2F6. This is the same viewpoint. So I think the bent rule is clear to all of you and uh, let us see this option is also seems to be correct one. Now the last option is OO bond length in O2F4 because the three answers are correct. So this must have must have to be wrong. Now let me check it out that what is the option available now in this case. So in this case we shall be having one is hydrogen peroxide and another is attached with the fluorine. Here also, this also is having two lone pairs. This also has two lone pairs. So this two sigma, two lone pair, so H would be four. So hybridization is sp3, hybridization is sp3. Here also the hybridization is sp3, sp3. So what we shall be saying that this hybrid orbital, this one, the one I am showing it with white, although it is sp3, but it would have more of a P character and less of a S character in the sense vis a vis the one with joining with this this oxygen oxygen. So this would have this sp3 orbital would have uh, compared to the uh, the one which I have shown with white color this would have lesser P and more S. More S means more overlap more overlap means more bond bond strength and lesser bond length. So if I talk of bond length now, so bond length, which bond length? OO bond length in this case would be longer and in case of O2F2, it would be shorter. So what they have given, let, let us check this out. What the answer they have given? They have given O2F2 is longer than H2O2. So this is a wrong statement. So I think this 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 suggests that the C option is a answer to this question with, because it's a wrong statement given. So seeing the length and breadth of this particular topic of bent rule, there are other aspects of this rule uh, we, which we shall be discussing in some other video. So I hope you have enjoyed today's session and, and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe so that you could see the videos at the earliest and this way uh, you are able to strengthen your subject with different different topics every day. Thanks a lot. Stay connected and stay safe. Bye bye.